welcome back. This is going to be another little restorative yoga class. This time we're going to be focusing on the hips, hamstrings, and general leg and mobility issues there. So as always, make sure you have a bolster or just some bed pillows or couch pillows. Both work perfectly. And if you want, blocks are optional and they can also be used in place of the pillow. But definitely a pillow if you do. We're gonna get started in a comfortable cross-legged seated position, maybe bringing that right foot in front of the left shin or pulling it all the way into the hip crease if you like, whichever one you prefer. We'll just take a few deep breaths here first. So roll your shoulders up and back. Maybe let your eyes close and just start to notice your breath flowing into the belly and exhaling softly out. This time start to deepen the belly breath, starting to breathe in for three, two, one, and then exhale slowly for three, two, one. Again, find that control of the breath, breathing in deep for three, two, one and exhale slowly release for three two one more time just like that deep breath into the belly for four three two one and exhale release for three two one allow yourself to return back to a semi-normal breathing pattern here Noticing again how you are controlling, where you are breathing the more. On your next inhale here, lift the chin, open out the throat, tilting the head back. And then exhale, bring the chin towards the chest, breathe into the back of the neck. One more time, just like that. Inhale, lift the chin, open out the throat. And then exhale, chin towards the chest to the back of the neck, high. Let the head stay heavy, rock it over to the right shoulder and breathe into that side. Maybe stay here, maybe rock it down and towards the left side, pause and breathe into that side. Maybe stay here, maybe just start to roll out the neck if that feels good, all the way around or side to side. Wherever you're holding that tension, just try to let yourself stay heavy. And come all the way back to that long neutral spine. Big inhale, we'll sweep the arms up, just stretching out through the fingertips. Exhale, take that twist over to the right side, right palm behind you, left palm to the outside of the right knee. Gentle twist, look over that shoulder. Let your breath deepen a little bit here. Take your pillow or your block and just place it a little bit in front of you. One more breath in, we're gonna lift up. And then exhale, bow forward to the pillow. If you don't, you don't have to use the bolster here, but if you want a little more comfort, maybe rest your forehead or chin and just try to breathe with those 
sit bones still kind of on the mat if possible and let yourself breathe here start to walk it back up Breathe. and gently switch the feet out so bring them out and then take the right foot in first left foot in front of the right shin or you can pull it into the hip crease this time bring your fingertips to your shoulders and just get a little bit of movement so you're gonna bring the elbows in together and then open them out wide stretching open the chest and down bring it in open. Nice and slow. One more in this direction. And then gently reverse. So bring them back behind you. Really open up the chest and round it in. Comfortable, you can bring a cheek, chin, or forehead to the pillow or to the block. to the hips. Maybe you stay here. Maybe you can bring that pillow back in front to help you fold or just meet your body wherever you're at today. Getting into those hips a little bit more. Exhale, 
chest down, breathe here. Take your legs and just swing them behind you, making your way to a tabletop. Find a few cat and cows, inhale, pressing the belly down, lifting up through the chest. And then exhale, rounding the spine to your cat. And just move up your breath a little bit here. Let those knees come wide. Big toes touch. Sit it back, child's pose. Option to bring the bolster in front. Place your palms on it and then sink a little bit deeper through the chest in between the arms. to a downward dog. If you don't feel like doing a downward dog, just stay in tabletop. You won't mind a little one into the stretch here. Just press it up. Maybe paddle the feet out here. Exhale, 
we're gonna take the weight and press it back to a half split. So flex that left foot, maybe bring the blocks with you. You can come a little bit higher, keeping this front leg straight, flexing the foot to get a little more activation. Remember that right knee is over the hip. Or you can try and fold a little bit more. Use the bolster or the blocks for support. Breathe into that front hamstring. really nice and restorative. Get more into the back, bolster in front, and come through. Notice 
each side might be a little bit different. That's okay. Just honor wherever you're at. direction your hips are facing so if they're more open you're going to fold at your left diagonal onto your bolster keep it nice and cozy or just to the ground if pigeon is more comfortable for you you can keep it square to your mat notice this is a little more pressure into the hip and then again just fold wherever you're comfortable use your blocks or bolsters Take a few deep breaths here into this pigeon. Step it strong back to plank and then bring the left foot up again, laying the shin down and leave yourself down. So, again, test your hip on this side, feel where it's heading. If you feel so tight, lean over to the left side. You're going to open out your hip and you're going to fold at the right diagonal. If that's a little too easy, come back to square. Square means facing the front of your mat and then fold forward. Wherever you're at, again, take a few breaths into this pigeon pose.
that way over to that left hip and swing that right leg in front. We're gonna counter out our hip rotation by doing internal rotation. So take this left leg and internally rotate it. So the goal is to have the thighs squeezing together, but that's really a lot of pressure right here. So if you need to be more open, that's okay. Take your bolster and pillows and place it in front of that knee that is bent, or left leg that's in bent. And again, wherever you're at, adjust yourself. Big inhale, reach those arms up. And then exhale, fold over the bolster, the pillow, or the leg, and just let yourself breathe. So it's okay if you don't go down as far. If you need even more support, walk it up to your lap. You can just kind of hug it here, and it takes away a lot of the pressure. If you want more of that flexibility, come all the way down. yourself. Maybe notice how each side feels a little bit different. Exhale, slowly lower the hips. 
hips back down. And then come forward a little bit so that your butt will be on the mat. And again, a little supportive hero. So now the bolster is right behind me. I'm gonna just take my palms. Some people just like to stay onto your forearms here onto the bolster, or you can frame your forearms beside the bolster and come back to the supportive hero pose just for a few breaths here. Thighs do not have to touch. The knees are just internally rotating. And again, if this is too intense, come up, turn the bolster sideways, and just rest your forearms on it right here. Same exact pose, but a little bit out of the intensity. Choose one, take a few breaths here. Intelligently come up. Grab your out, slide those legs out. Nice. Maybe bring those palms behind you and just shake it out a little bit side to side, windshield wipers. And do one more hip opener. So come sideways onto your mat. And come into our Y straddle. So bolster will be in front. And open out the legs, coming into your wide straddle, making sure the sit bones are on the ground, flexing or pointing the feet for activation. Fingers stay here or melt it forward. Again, hug the bolster, use it for support. Might not go as low, that's okay. And just breathe into that hip opener. them out one direction. And reverse that circle, rolling out the lower back here. Right knee hugged in when you're ready. Extend the left leg long and front. 
pull the right knee towards your chest, noticing the separation. And on your next exhale, let the right leg cross over towards the left side. Let your gaze fall towards the right. Breathe here.
Gently wherever you're at, place the bolster out of the way and slowly begin to wiggle the fingers or the toes, rolling the wrists or the ankles out. Inhaling, draw your knees into your chest, giving them a loving, supportive hug. And your exhale, rock over to your favorite side, pausing here for a moment of gratitude, for a moment of thanks for yourself for coming here, showing up on your mat today. Now on your inhale, whenever you're ready, gently press yourself up to any comfortable seated position that works best for you. Taking a deep breath in, we'll sweep the arms up, bringing palms together to Anjali Mudra. Exhale, lower Anjali Mudra to the third eye to always trust your intuition, your inner knowing. Lower Anjali Mudra to the mouth so that your words may mirror your actions. And bring Anjali Mudra to the heart to always have kind and pure intentions. Thank you so much for your presence today. Namaste. Hey, a little noisy there towards the end, but thank you guys for joining me. I hope that was a good restorative class. Questions, comments, let me know, and I'll see you next time on your mat.